And that brings us to our top talker. And really, when you walk around here, if it, it's stunning how much has changed just over the last couple of years. And we've heard a lot about these changes coming. It is so nice, though, to actually be here and see these changes become a reality. Neil Fisher joins us now from the other side of the complex. Neil, I know you've been walking around the campus today trying to figure out what's new. There's a lot of new attractions. It's really everywhere you look, this place is different. Hey, good afternoon, Jay. That's right. Anywhere you look at the Hall of Fame Village, which is just steps away from the museum, there's something new, something to try. And for this area that expects to bring in thousands each year, there's more on the way. As the Pro Football Hall of Fame adds names and faces each year, the Hall of Fame Village adds to the experience. I stand out at the gates and the most common thing I hear people say is, wow, I didn't know all of this existed. At the Hall of Fame Village, you can eat, shop and play. What you can expect this year versus last year is much more activity. Our campus was not operational, really, to the extent that we are now. The 112 acre campus is just steps away from Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. Ann Graffis, Executive Vice President of Global Marketing and Public Affairs at Hall of Fame Village, tells me there's plenty to do if you can't go to the game. This is what we call our fan engagement zone. So think about anything that you could possibly do as it relates to dining, entertainment, retail, those types of things. That's what this plaza is going to be, an activation site for food trucks to come down, for folks to really have a thoroughfare directly into the stadium. This year, Brew Kettle. Don Shula's and Top Golf will be open, but CEO Mike Crawford wanted to create an environment for everyone. Right across the street here, we've got seven big screens. We've got rides. We're planning a big first down festival to allow guests who can't get into the game still to partake and be a part of the environment. We are a destination entertainment and sports space. Really what we're creating is an asset that's just not a couple hour visit to the museum and then you're moving on. It really is what more can we add to the guest experience when they're here to make their visit much more enjoyable and a little bit longer too. And while many of the added experiences are now open, you'll continue to see construction at the village. Next year, guests will be able to stay and play with the addition of a 180 room hotel and an indoor water park. That's gonna be an amazing water park. I've reviewed the plans for that. It's one of a kind. We have a world-class designer doing the inside of it for us the only football-themed water park in America. We really hope that what it brings is a, a focus on this destination through the biggest event that happens in football. And when you visit the Hall of Fame in Canton, remember, all of these additions exist. The Hall of Fame Village advises you to get here early when you come down to Canton. And once again, there is truly something to do for everybody in that hotel and football-themed water park expected to be completed by next year, Jay. Yeah, so as nice as the grounds and the facility are today, it's going to be even better and just continue to grow. It, it almost feels like county fair meets football. And who doesn't love both of those things? So that should be a, a great and deal you can of go fun. all also, year round. I know this interests you, Neil. That's right. And I know this interests you. Saturday is the big induction ceremony. The Zach Brown Band is going to be here to entertain fans. And I know a lot of folks are going to try to get here for that. That should be a blast. Right. Neil, thank you very much. Now, don't